Hi there, welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. Uh, in this video I just wanted to show you what I'm uh, starting to do over the winter months now. I've obviously got some that you've seen from auction, some I've sold and some I've kept just to sort of renovate over the winter months because it's uh, late September now. So as you can see I've got a few in stock, mainly self-propelled ones with grass boxes. Uh, and I've also, from a, an advert I have in the post office window, I've just picked this up for £30, this Honda, the HRB 425. This has got a, a rear roller on as this one. Um, what can often happen with these, as I knew when I picked it up actually, it did tell me that the transmission had gone, basically. It's got a plastic transmission box underneath here. And it has to power all this metal rear roller, which is very heavy. And it's a lot of work on the, on the transmission, and after a while, although they're well built really, the um, once they've gone, they've gone really, because it's very difficult to get the belts off on these, and things like that. So I'm breaking this down for spares. Now for £30... Um, I've got a, you know, a load of spares of it so far. I've got a starter recoil, a petrol tank. I've also got this which is a, a rotor stop a blade brake clutch. Basically it's so you can leave the engine running while the, the blades stop to change the box. Just to empty the grass out. So that's very handy to, uh, to have and sell. I've seen one of them on eBay today starting at £90. I've also got a box here of things. got the carburetor, the air filter box, parts of the exhaust. Cables that I managed to get off. These cables, for example, I've just looked on the internet. These are £19 each. So, already from £30, I'm sure. Well, already I know I'm up because I've, I've got the grass box over here, which I actually listed last night. And I've actually just sold that this morning for £50. So, someone bought that within 12 hours. £50. I mean, I only paid 30 for the lawnmower. I've still got a few more bits to get off it. Now, you might think it's a shame that. I'm not just repairing this and making a good sale on it, but I've sold these before and they go for around, normally around £200, but the problems with these Hondas, although they're brilliant machines, when they're working like a car, of course, when they're not, sometimes they can be a real pig and you've just got to put your loss in it. Now the transmission, as you can see here, all works underneath, but there's a, a transmission box on the back here. And you see, if you can see any of this transmission box is filled, it's really difficult to turn. It's actually, uh, the plastic's gone onto the plastic there and it's all filled. Even these cables are difficult to get off underneath, there's like uh, circlips on them and stuff like that. But, the main problem, if you're looking to sort of repair this, is you've got an adjustment screw on these at the back. If you can just see, I'm just trying to get my camera into the right spot, there's actually a, an adjustment screw in there. You can see it's just coming into focus now, and that can tighten the belt. Now, once that's at the maximum setting, and the belt's as tight as you can get it, basically the drive won't drive the rear roller properly. So once that's at the maximum, you've got some adjustment on there, and you've also got some adjustment on the handle as well. But once they're both on maximum, there's nowhere else for it to go. And I think what happens with this one is they eventually wear out and the transmission doesn't last too much longer. Because it's trying to power all this. This is a great big heavy rear roller, and basically it goes through here. The configuration of it's all here, it's all geared and there's a spring there for the tension and stuff but the main problem with it is the belt now getting this belt off to replace it that gives you a bit more adjustment it actually runs right along both sides of this spring here that goes right through I mean you can probably pop that off after a while once you're taking cables out and you can probably get this belt off but to get to this point I mean you've got to take the blade off which was absolutely seized on you've got to um, take the rotor stop clutch off and things like that so I just wanted to do this video for anyone who's thinking of starting to do this I mean, for example here I've got the spring out now but you've still got to get um, the cables off and still got to get right round and fold it down and things like that to get to the belt although it's doable it's it's a lot of work really um, and it's sometimes especially in the winter months Better to sell these for spares because there's a lot of good bits on here, as I've showed you. Even the blades are £20 and things like that, so I've got this off as the rear covers have come off as well, and I've really just salvaged it for as many bits as I can. Because at this time of year, these parts are worth quite a bomb because I'll get a lawnmower such as this one in here, and it's actually got a cracked petrol tank underneath, so it leaks. Now, you can't buy this tank, you can't buy, even buy an aftermarket, you have to buy a conversion kit. For it, and they're about £30 and you know you've got nowhere else to you have to buy it to get the lawnmower working if you want to repair these and make a profit so just take a look at the types of mower Honda ones if they're working right brilliant you make an absolute killing on them but be very very careful because luckily for me I've sourced this one locally just out of a shop advert that I put up 
So one little tip just for this video is to, if you're looking to get into the business of picking these up cheaply, get yourself a little poster made up. You can go on a website actually called Fiverr.com, which is F-I-V-E-R-R. Dot com and somebody if you don't know how to use uh, Adobe Photoshop elements and all this stuff and do any techie stuff you can go on there and you can get somebody to um, basically design you a little poster tell them what text you want and they'll make it look very professional for five five dollars this is which is about three pound fifty at the time of filming and you can get that done and put it in your post office window and the amount of mowers you get from that to make money like this is quite incredible really for thirty pounds I mean I'm looking I've already got fifty pounds for the box whatever else bits. I've got the cables, the car, the air filter box, absolutely loads of bits. I've even got the, uh, the ignition coil in there, they're about £35. I'm looking to make at least £150 just from stripping this down um, and keeping a few bits for myself as well. Also the blades there. So thanks for watching. I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing as we're starting to get into the winter months as well. So that's going to be uh, a good one for a little bit of profit over the winter months. What's this lad doing here? Hello. I think he's playing with Sooty and Sweet, look. What are they doing there? David, what's Sooty and Sweet doing there?